Okay, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jordy at uh, Carve Fusion. So what I'm going to do today is carve an owl. Okay. I'm going to be using my uh, Stell 201 and my uh, 193 with a carving bar. So this owl, this is the little fluff owl that I called it. Uh, it's I, I, I figured... So this is the owl, my first single owl that I carved after getting lessons from uh, Ryan Cook and uh, Kevin Lewis at uh, Kevin Lewis, uh, Uncle Kevin Carves. So I know I need to fix up this part and this part, okay? So, but anyways, I'll do that after. So anyways, you can see how I got my, this is how Ryan taught me, I believe. You can see how I got my head blocked on there and it comes down like this. I give it a little bit of a curve here to give it a chest. Here's his wing, and then I cut straight down here, and here. So this is going to be like a kind of a music video. I'll talk a bit, but, you know, I really don't want to be trying to show. I'm just going to show how I do it, okay? Anyways. This is not a carving bar. This is just a regular uh, bar with a quarter pitch chain. <laughs> Okay, you can see here uh, I started uh, blocking it out, the owl. Um, now, with that saw, now I'm going to use my uh, 193 rear handle arborist saw with a still dime tip bar. It's quarter pitch chain too. I did start making a video how to sharpen a chainsaw my style. I can't go Eastwood, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to uh, th think more about making the how to sharpen a chainsaw video before I actually upload one. Hello there ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to show you how I sharpen my uh, chainsaw chain. Okay, This is a quarter pitch uh, chain, 50 gauge. You can either use one of these, the traditional way, or you can use a lazy man's way. The lazy man has the best idea, so I'm going to be using it with this, a Dremel flex shaft, with this little stone cutter on here. Okay, so the first thing I always do is get a black jiffy marker and mark my stops and starts on both sides. So this is where I know I start. Uh -huh. Just a stop with it. So now I'm gonna, uh, this is what I remember. Draw your center line here. Okay, you draw your center line on top and you just do a nice swoop down here and a nice swoop down here. So you got a line here. And you got a line here. So I'll be getting my chainsaw and going, boom. Okay. That makes sense? Yep. And another thing too, I made this uh, thing today for the for the jaw horse. It's uh let me try and pull it out. I got this owl screwed onto this board. Cause I got tired of hitting my thing, the metal on it, right? It sucks. So lots of other guys use this. I just got that square thing screwed in, screwed into the board, right? So then I screw up the owl up from under. Now the owl is secured to this board. Lock it up. Now you can just carve away and you don't have to worry about hitting the jaw horse, right? You can get it, you can move all the way around. You don't have to move your owl onto the jaw horse. You can just move around the whole piece. This is also Western red cedar. Look how beautiful it is. It's pretty dry. Very first growth dry Western red cedar. Yep. Okay, so I got all the blocking it out done and kind of rounding things and stuff like that. So I did make a mistake. I cut this guy's tail off. So this guy doesn't have a tail, but that's okay. Um, I kind of, like all this white wood's water wood and lots of it was rot. So I had to cut this a lot thinner all the way around too. You don't want to sell, you don't want to sell an art piece with a uh, rod in it, right? So anyways, he's got some silly little talons there. 
Um, you know, you, so you see his body. Uh, let's go to this side. So you see his body continues under the wing. Ryan taught me that. Right, so your wings here and the body continues under. Um, so now let's draw these uh, wings on. I don't know, it's probably not the right shape. So up here, you just kind of go like this with your chainsaw tip. Then you start going like uh, this. If that makes sense to you. So um, let's draw a center line back on. Okay. Our eyes. I'm going to have to draw this stuff on when I'm not filming. So anyways, you can see this is like scribbled out up here. It looks like little feathers going this way. And this way. And then these are like this, right? Cancel this line out here. Don't pay attention to that. Just these lines here. Okay. Okay, so you guys can see this looks like a total shit show. So anyways, I'm just going to get carving and see what comes of it, I guess. I'm not trying to take my time that much on this. Also, you got to do these cuts here. So cut the hair here, and then take this one away here. Bring it down. I, I just don't know. Okay, so I got no idea what kind of owl this one is. A tailless owl. So um, when I was working, this little piece fell out right here. So that just screws it right up, but that's okay. We got some five minute epoxy mixed up. Let's get the epoxy. I saw the rot beforehand. So I had a feeling it was gonna happen, sorry. I had a feeling it was gonna happen. So how'd this go in there? There you go. I don't know. I'll be back. This is when you know it's break time, right? So it's break time, coffee time. Okay. So I started detailing the face a bit. Here's his beak. I just kind of did my own style stuff here. You see here in the hairs? I did this with this little mampa cutter. It's kind of dangerous, but I put it on my Dremel. See, it's like a little chisel. You do not want to get hit with this. It's going to cut you. It's going to rip you open. Okay. But I just kind of went rah, 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 and in the eyes too. So now I don't have any cut saw burrs here. I don't know where they all went. But I got this aluminum working burr. So I'm just going to kind of shape these uh, curves more. I'm going to curve them, right? Anyways, yep. I don't know what kind of owl this is. Completely incorrect owls, but they still look like owls. Oh, yeah, I gotta fix up this part. Ah, screw it, good enough. I did some Ryan Cook paint in there with a little bit of eyes. And uh, yeah, so there's a couple owls. It's probably about a two hour car for me, this guy. Uh, let's see the backs. Like I said, this guy doesn't have a tail. I tucked his wing under. This wing's tucked under that one. There's the back. This guy's shaped a lot better. So like uh, like I was taught, don't focus too much on the back because this is what people are gonna be looking at, right? This view, you know what I mean? So front, back. Okay, so now I'm gonna carve a wood spirit. It's getting late in the day, but I'm gonna blast one off on the cedar log. Okay, so here's the wood spirit I carved quickly. I carved it, burnt it deep. I carved the eyes way in there because this cedar was soaking wet, so. Uh, there's the owls. I painted them a bit like uh Okay, so here's what we got for today that that and I cleaned up all my cottonwood bark So um now what I'm gonna do this wood's still wet So I want to do well, it's kind of dry because I burnt it But this was soaking wet. I carved this the ice so deep in there because I just couldn't really well, I was having problems, but whatever it Is what it is. So now let's um 
What I'm going to put on this stuff is I'm going to put this spar varnish on, Hel Helsman spar varnish. What I don't know if this is clear or what, shiny or whatever. It's stuff's always shiny. But I'm going to mix it with uh, mineral spirits, okay? So I'll probably do 50-50. Because this stuff's really thick, everybody. This stuff's really thick for outdoor stuff. And when it's really thick, it has a hard time penetrating the wood. I want this stuff to soak into the wood really good, so that's why I'm going to thin it with the mineral spirits, okay? So anyways... <laughs> Okay, so I mix in about 30% mineral spirit, 70% uh, spar varnish. All right. The soft coda. Put this stuff on really thick, guys. Don't worry about streaks. Cause this cedar is gonna suck it, suck it all right up. I suggest to do about three coats. Your first, and a couple after. Okay, let's see what color the wood spirit goes. Okay, so I've had the throne chair sitting out in the sun for a couple days. Um, I'm not really 100% happy with the way, like the, I should have made them more twisty. This piece coming off and that and that, they just look kind of square to me, but who, who really cares? It still needs another coat or two. Now you guys can get a nice pitch, nice visual of it. It's the table sloped back because I got that board underneath it, right? So I'm going to have to get that in because it's good, rain's coming. So let's go look at the, these pieces here. So there we go. Let me close the tent, we'll get a better view. So I don't know if this is too dark. You know, so I've already, this owl's, the eyes are kind of, everything's off about this owl. But see how I cut all this in? That's how I learned not to make it look like this. Right? Put some cut marks in there. And you can even do all the way up to here too, right? It can come all the way to, they can come all the way down, then have your beak down here. See? The difference? So that's it, guys. Oh, yeah. Let's check out all the cottonwood bark that I, I got. I got it all cleaned up and sorted out. So that's what I, that's what I walked away with. I cut them all the nice carvable sizes. And um, I guess here it comes, carbon fusion, over and out.